Welcome to Emotional Intelligence. Discover it, build it, harness it. Our pre-session disclaimer. Today's discussion and activities are completely voluntary. The information and activities presented herein might be emotionally triggering in regard to stress and coping. At any time, you can stop the process, including activities, discussion, and or reflection. I believe that we can do anything with a positive and open mind. And for additional resources, you can always visit Ohio University's wellness portal at www.ohio.edu backslash wellness. My name is Dr. Andrew Pischel. I welcome any engagement. You can reach me at pischel at ohio.edu. So today's agenda, we'll start with our introduction. Then we'll move on to our session goals where we'll define emotional intelligence and we'll discover its benefits. Then we'll ask, where are you now in regards to emotional intelligence? And we'll explore ways to build it. Finally, we'll reflect and we'll have a call to action before we conclude and we have our session wrap up. This session is designed to help you assess your current standing while encouraging you to make plans for the future using information in this session. When you see this green pencil, it's your reminder to pause and write down your reflections. Let's begin. About this session, how we interact with others is more important today than ever. According to psychologist Daniel Goleman, emotional intelligence, which we can label as EI or sometimes EQ, is the ability to identify and manage our emotions and identify and manage the emotions of others. We do this through self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. It is thought that those who have a higher levels of emotional intelligence are tuned into their own emotions and understand how emotions can affect other people. Today's brief session will dive into the concept of emotional intelligence and we'll give tips on how to bring your emotional intelligence to life starting today. After today's session, you'll be able to understand the concept of emotional intelligence and understand its benefits. You'll also discover your own emotional intelligence and be able to explore ways to build your emotional intelligence for yourself and others at home, work, and in your community. So what is emotional intelligence? Well, according to Goldman, Mayer, and Silvani, uh, this is the ability to monitor your own emotions as well as the emotions of others in order to distinguish between and label different emotions correctly and to use emotional information to guide your thinking and behavior and influence that of others. So there's five elements, five main elements of emotional intelligence, self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. Self-awareness, being able to recognize our own emotions, our strengths and our weaknesses. So for example, if I was at a party and I just told a joke, I immediately thought to myself, why did I say that that was inappropriate? And maybe I even apologized to the group. That's my self-awareness. Self-regulation, thinking before you speak or you act. Well, maybe I'm at that party and I'm about to say the same joke and I think about who I'm with and I decide not to tell that joke. That's self-regulation. Our motivation, deciding what is driving us to succeed. For instance, if I'm at work, uh, why am I working my more hours? Am I trying to get overtime to get that money, which is an external motivator? Or am I trying to gain skill sets uh, to be a better employee? That's internal motivation. And then empathy, understanding others and why they're acting the way they are. Well, when I take the time to listen to a coworker, about an emotional experience, am I really listening to gain insight or am I just pretending to listen to just talk next and give advice? Empathy is the ability to really listen and connect with the person on what they're experiencing. And then social skills, interacting with others in ways that, they're, that is appropriate for the situation. For instance, being able to solve a conflict between some friends that results in that agreed upon resolution. What are, what is my body language? And what is my verbal? What am I saying uh, to help get the positive result that I want in this situation? It's also important to talk about what emotional intelligence is not. It's not being able to communicate the emotions of others. 
It's important to know that we can only manage our own emotions. We can identify the emotions of others, but we can't manage them. Emotional intelligence is not only focused on positivity. While motivation is one of the five elements, we have to think about all forms of emotions and address them as needed. And emotional intelligence is also not a way to judge people as good or bad. There are plenty of good people out there that don't have a good sense of emotional intelligence. And there's also a lot of bad people, as we'd call them, that have an excellent sense of emotional intelligence. So what are the benefits? Well, according to the research, EI is positively related to job performance above and beyond the effects of personality and cognitive ability. It shows that it is a unique predictor of job performance rather than just a combination of commonly assessed personality traits. So EI, greater levels of EI, help with job performance, not just if you have all the personality traits to be successful with that specific job. EI is mostly relate, strongly related to job performance and jobs that require more emotional labor, i.e. service with a smile, those that are helping humans have high levels of engagement. EI is also related to positive leadership roles and behaviors, uh, especially with transformational leadership. Think about that, those that have higher levels of abilities to connect with others, we can help others transform through the leadership process. And EI is positive related to both psychological and physical health. So our mental state and our physical state are both positively related to emotional intelligence. So additional possible benefits from EI include the following when we think about the five elements. When we think about self-awareness, the possible benefit could be increased confidence in your ability to succeed. Self-regulation could be reduced interpersonal conflicts or mistakes. When we look at motivation, we think about uh, the benefits being clarity regarding desired outcomes, to be able to better direct or manage behaviors. In regard to empathy, we think about the better relationships we could have with family members, coworkers, or community members, being able to engage and listen to them and see where they're coming from. And then social skills. Benefits of social skills include a stronger relationship with quicker desired outcomes in social situations by being able to relate to that person in regards to our social skills. Well, there's great news. Remember that we are the ones that can take control. Emotional intelligence can be learned. Emotional intelligence can be practiced and it can grow over time through life experience. You can be aware and take the steps needed to be as successful as possible, and that's what we're doing today. So how do you know where to stand today? Well, the following three instruments can be used to help see, to gauge your emotional intelligence and discover where you are. So psychology today is a very formal questionnaire. It takes about 45 minutes to complete. It evaluates your emotional intelligence, and it's gonna give you suggestions to improve it. The Harvard Business Review, it gives its different components of EI, it provides opportunities for you to explore how other people view you in regards to emotional intelligence, and it gives some additional information on resources not discussed in this session. And then finally, Greater Good Magazine. I love this. It's a creative twist on emotional intelligence, and this survey measures your EI by presenting facial expressions that focus on empathy and social skills, and it asks you to address what your perception is, and then it gives you your finding. So how can you build this? So I think this is really important. Tools to build your emotional intelligence regarding our five elements can be the following. With self-awareness, you can check in to see how you're feeling and you can keep a daily journal and go back to it and reflect at the end of the week to see how you've been feeling through the process. In self-regulation, you can choose how you want to react in a situation by being proactive and starting with the end in mind. You can also make plans about what needs to be accomplished before certain situations are coming up, and you can log that and make your plan to make sure you're succeeding. In regards to motivation, get excited about lifelong learning. Know that it's a process. You can set your goals by being realistic, plan for long-term engagement, and celebrating with many successes. In regard to empathy, you can show others that you care. 
and you can verbally acknowledge what others are saying to let them know that you're listening to them. Social skills, you can take a current assessment of your social skills. You can do this by recording yourself during an online meeting, checking yourself in a mirror, or even asking someone for your thoughts. These are all great tools to build your emotional intelligence. And now we're gonna bring that to life. So you might wanna come back to this slide if you need to in the future. So activity one, building EI in yourself. Notice the pencil on the left-hand side. So I want you to focus on a specific domain of life, either home, work, or community, which is in our columns below, or one of the five elements of emotional intelligence. These go across the domains. Um, these are the self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. And then answer the questions in your selected column or row to start building your emotional intelligence. For instance, if I wanted to focus on self-awareness, I could focus on self-awareness in home, work, or community. If I wanted to focus on only my work domain, I, might, I will focus on work in terms of self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. So simply pick a column or a row and answer the following questions. Now reflect. Thinking about your responses to the activity, I want you to reflect and describe at least three ways that building your emotional intelligence could improve your life if you put the effort in now to develop it. Now activity two, building EL in others. Pick a different domain, home, work, or community in the column, or an element of emotional intelligence in a row across all three domains. And then I want you to answer the questions in your selected column, how you can start building emotional intelligence in others. Once again, if I wanted to focus on others with motivation, I would answer the questions across home, work, and community. If I wanted to think about working on emotional intelligence in others in the community, I would focus on the column and community and answer the questions. Go ahead and answer the questions now. Now reflect. Thinking about your responses to the activity, reflect and describe at least three potential benefits of building the emotional intelligence of others. Let's conclude our thoughts. Throughout this session, we've had goals on doing the following, which you should be able to do. Understand the concept of emotional intelligence. Understand the benefits associated with emotional intelligence. Reflect on and assess your own emotional intelligence and be able to explore ways to build emotional intelligence for yourself and others at home, at work, and in your community. If you need as a resource, please go back and look at this presentation and so you can make sure that you have met the goals. One final reminder, remember that you're the one that can take control. Remember that emotional intelligence can be learned, can be practiced, and it can grow over time through life experience. Most importantly, you can be aware and take the steps needed to be as successful as possible through emotional intelligence. Finally, our resources used through this presentation are as follows. You can always contact me at pischel at ohio.edu. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.